assalamu alaikum students welcome to my channel students in this video i am going to discuss about the primary or basic functions of the gastrointestinal tract organs and the glands the primary functions of the organs and the glands that take part in the gastrointestinal tract are the digestive system of the body before moving toward the primary functions of these organs and the glands that take part in the digestive system of the body i tell you about the digestive system what is digestive system digestive system is a collection of the organs that work together to digest and absorb food stuff in taken up by the human body primary functions of the gastrointestinal tract organs and the glands is the digestion and the absorption of the food stuff taken up by the human being before moving toward the primary functions of the organs and the glands of the gastrointestinal tract i tell you i will show you the organs and the glands what are the organs and the glands that take part in the gastrointestinal tract so these are the mouth salivary glands esophagus stomach small intestine pancreas liver gallbladder and large intestine then moving toward these primary functions of these organs and the glands number 1 is the mouth 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 is the beginning of the digestive system after ingestion the food stuff you chew it into the pieces that are easily digested so the mouth is responsible for the intake of the food material grinding of the taken up food material mixing and chewing of the food that is intake by the mouth then the salivary glands salivary glands collectively produce the saliva these are the pair form of the glands these are the parotid glands the mandibular glands and the lingual glands they produce the their secretions produce the saliva which is responsible for the production of the fluid and the digestive enzymes for the homogenization lubrication digestion of the carbohydrate and the lipids the digestion of the carbohydrate is catalyzed by the enzyme alpha amylase and the lipid digestion is catalyzed by the lingual lipase alpha amylase slavery alpha amylase is also called the ptyalin then moving toward the esophagus esophagus is a muscular tube like organ that received the food from the mouth and send it to the stomach after by the series of muscular contractions that are called the peristalsis so the esophagus is responsible for the passage of the food from the mouth to the stomach then the stomach stomach is also an organ of the gastrointestinal tract stomach is a main site for the protein digestion it is a j shaped muscular pouch that secretes strong acid hcl and the proteases powerful enzyme pepsinogen pepsinogen digest mainly protein content in the food material then the another organ of the gastrointestinal tract is the small intestine small intestine is about 24 ft long muscular tube it is the organ where the final intraluminal digestion of the food stuff and the digestion of the carbohydrate dimers is occurs using the enzymes released by the pancreas and the bile from the liver occurs it all has three segments the duodenum jejunum and the ileum duodenum is responsible for the breaking process and the jejunum and the ileum are involved in the absorption of the nutrients into the blood stream so this is the basic or primary function of the small intestine then moving toward the pancreas 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 is a digestive related organ as its exocrine function it secretes the digestive enzymes it secretes the digestive enzymes into the duodenum digestive enzymes include the lipases proteases and the amylase these digestive enzymes are secreted into the duodenum through a duct that help in the digestion of the fats proteins and the carbohydrate respectively then moving toward the liver liver is mainly digestive function of the liver is the process of the nutrients absorbed from the small intestine so it produces the bile into the small intestine for fat and some vitamin digestion then the gall bladder gall bladder is a storage container for the bile bile is a yellow green fluid made up of the 
water salts cholesterol and the inorganic salts when fatty food enters the duodenum the part of the small intestine the gall bladder contracts and releases bile to digest fat components of the food taken up by the small intestine then the large one organ of the gastrointestinal tract is the large intestine large intestine is the last major part of the digestive system tract it is the part that is about 5 feet long muscular tube it has role in the complete completing any nutrient absorption and processing the waste into the feces it is divided into the cecum colon and rectum every part add contribution in the collective function of the large intestine so the large intestine is responsible for the absorption of the fluid and electrolytes and processing of the waste into the feces so these are the primary or basic functions of the gastrointestinal tract organs and the glands i hope by watching the full video you have a complete proper concept of the git organs and glands and their primary or basic functions thank you very much